I have seen quite some questions about the spare lenses for the MacPow X5 laser engraver. Well, they are now available. This is for the X5 and also the X4, the latest model from MacPow. So in this video I will show you how you can clean the lens or replace the lens if it's uh, damaged beyond uh, cleaning. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and let's dive right in. The first step is removing the laser module. Um, let me show you up close using this camera. Uh, press down the blue ring and pull the air assist hose out of the connector. Then remove the power connector from the laser just by pulling it up uh, on the connector itself. Don't pull the wires, only the connector and it will come loose. Next step is uh, release the, the latch which secures the, the laser module and just slide it out gently in the upright position. So now that we have removed the laser module it's time to start the cleaning. Uh, for this you need a couple of things. First you need a clean cloth. This one was included with the laser. It's a lint-free cloth so it doesn't leave any fibers on the lens. You need a small allen key. This one was also included with the machine. And I always use uh, isopropanol. This is 99.9% .9 uh, uh, isopropyl uh, alcohol. So it will clean the lens very nicely, uh, no residue, and it doesn't hurt the lens. Uh, next step is we're going to remove the, the nozzle from the air assist uh, and, um, yeah, to get access to the lens. Otherwise you cannot take off the lens. And I will show you in the next step how to do this. So let's take off the nozzle, the air assist nozzle. Uh, put the laser module on its side with the lever, uh, the focus lever on top and you will see a little rubber cap. You can take it out using your fingers. Then take the allen key, stick it through the hole into the little screw which is inside of the nozzle. Turn it a little bit, you don't need to release it uh, completely. And now you can take off the nozzle by pulling on it. Always Check the nozzle, make sure it's clean, that the hole is open for a nice and good airflow. Now you can see the lens. You can just remove it with your fingers, it should not be this tight. You can unscrew it and take it off. I always put the, the laser module like this, so the exposed laser, because the lens is now removed, it's uh, as close as possible. Um, now you have the lens. Uh, hopefully I can show you. Let me see if I can. You can see in the middle. Let me take my Allen key. You can see it's quite dirty. There's a spot in the middle and we need to clean this. This can be done uh, using... Let me focus. Yeah, it's better. Here you can see the little dot and you can see yeah, it's, it's like hazed on the lens. So it's uh, all the smoke which uh, got on the lens and I need to clean it. So this is before cleaning. I will show you the result afterwards. So now let's clean the lens. What I always do, I will shake the bottle a few times. So there's a little bit of isopropanol in the cap. It's more than sufficient. As you can see, the cloth is wet now. And I will just clean the lens like this using the cloth. I will always do both sides, also the inside. And then check if it's clean. And I think it's clean now. So next step is uh, putting back the lens. So if you notice during the cleaning uh, that the lens is uh, damaged or you cannot get it clean, uh, MacPow sells these uh, replacement kits. Uh, they come in a pack of four, so you get four lenses which will last you a long time. Let me show you. They're all, let me turn this one on. Uh, nicely packed in little containers. When you open it, you can see there's some protective foil on the lens, so there's no dust on the lens. You have to remove these foils, of course, before you mount it. Well, uh, my lens is not damaged, so I don't need to use the new lens now. I can just put back the old one. Let me show you how this is done. Turn it upside down. Just gently screw the lens on. Don't cross-thread uh, it. 
and then tighten it like this. You don't need to over tighten it. It does not go anywhere. Uh, then you can put back the nozzle. Let me twist it. There's a little hole over here and the tube needs to go into the hole. If you align this and then gently press it down like this, you will see that the tube is in the hole and the nozzle is onto the lens. Now you can use the Allen key again, stick it through the hole, get it into the little screw and tighten it. Just gently. Don't need to over tighten it because you might damage it. And then put back the rubber cap. And now the lens is cleaned. The only thing that remains is cleaning this one. The inside also has some yeah, dirt on it. We will clean this next. So to uh, clean the inside of this one, I will just use an older rag, uh, use some isopropanol and then clean it. I also have a brush uh, which can go inside and then I'll clean it off. Let me take off the cap. Let me put it here so you can see. Just put a little isopropanol on it and clean it off. this. Also clean the lens, the acrylic. Some is stuck on there really good. Because of the heat. I will go underneath. The reason that I'm doing this when everything is already assembled, then I have less chance of getting dust inside of my uh, laser. You will not get everything off probably, but as long as it's clean enough, it's good. It's not a new uh, laser of course. Also check the vents. Make sure that these are clean. What you can do, uh, let me take this, uh, let me see where it is. This one, you can also use this uh, like uh, pressed air cans and then blast through this. So you can see everything is nice and clean. Uh, the fans, they look clean, otherwise you can also clean them. Don't uh, do like this with the uh, compressed air, because your fan will be spinning at an RPM that he's not liking very much. That's not good for the bearings. So, I think this is good enough. And I will mount back the laser in the next step. So now that we have fully cleaned the laser module, let's put it back onto the machine. Just slide it down from top to bottom and lock it in place. Firmly press down the power connector into the module and press down the air assist hose. It will lock into place automatically and this will conclude the cleaning of the lens. Your machine is now ready for its next project. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was helpful. Uh, if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you want to purchase the spare lenses from MacPow, these are for the X5 and X4 uh, for, uh, laser mod, uh, machines. Uh, I will put a link in the description of my video. It's an affiliate link, so if you purchase via this link, you will help my channel a little bit and I would really appreciate it. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please stick around. There will be new videos coming up from MacPow, um, on MacPow, I should say. Uh, I've got the FC2, so that's a larger enclosure for this machine. Many people, including myself, have been waiting for this one. Uh, the smaller ones did not fit on this machine. And the FC2 is specifically designed for this machine. So I will make a video on this one in the coming weeks. And also uh, the G5 uh, Chuck rotary roller 
from Magpile. I will uh, do a review on this one. So uh, keep uh, watching my channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye.